what sort of data we we tracking back then? Was it like the weights oh. you're lifting for the reps, and then the your <laughs> running times? Yeah, look, I, I was everything I did training, wind, approximate wind reading. I didn't have a wind gauge at the sessions, but I'd go. Wow. You know, I got to know two meters per second northwest wind. Um, that I Where felt, did you get that? Is that a common athletics thing to do? That's a, a, oh, when I was doing from all my reading, I, I used to read athletes' journals, and so I'd go, yeah. and uh, they would say write a training log, and I was, I'd see so many different athletes from overseas and here, and and the other one, I, one of the biggest influences in my whole career was actually just competing, but the athletes, and especially in decathlon, like. You might get to, I was not a very good shot putter and I was good at long jump. So I'd help out the guys that weren't good long jumpers with their run up and the technical side. And that's something you get your athletes to do, a training journal? In yeah, they don't. Up. I do, funny enough. They, people seem to think, oh, I'll leave it to the coach. And uh, mm. I, I don't think they're that good at doing it. I, I, I looked at everyone's and I, I, because I was passionate, I actually, you're probably, you're probably right in your assessment earlier there, Jack, is that. What drove you? I was pre preparing to be a coach my whole life, and um, as I was doing athletics, and, um, and but not realising it, and and in the end, you know, and it's the data, and I, and I look at some of the great coaches we've got here, like Gary Bourne, that coached Mitchell Watt and Jai Tarima, you know, and those guys are winning medals at world champs and Olympics, and Gary's the same, he's meticulous with his data collection. And uh, and and then it's not just collecting it; it's analysing. How do you keep an athlete that you're working with um, focus on one thing and doing that really well, rather than listen to so many voices like you reference? Yeah. Like, well, how interesting. Do you, uh, filter what's important and what's yeah, what's yeah, uh, yeah. you know distraction. Yeah, I was two stories on that. Or well, one is well, three. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I tend to <laughs> see. That's all right, mate. <laughs> we back into everyone's, line. Everyone's engaged. <laughs> but then the, the first thing is that, that I learned through my level uh, three or five is know your event, really understand and know your event inside out. Like, and that's just not knowing it from data, stats, the technical side, um, every aspect, the emotional side. The, and then once you know the, the event, then you work backwards and you start putting the pieces that go into that event. Do you, so you, you know how you mentored the objective side, um, noting those down, do you also write down those, that sort of how they're feeling and the object, that subjective yeah. side? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and, right. I'll, and some of, of people will go through moods and I'll write, <laughs> and no, those are very moody today or this sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually learn so how to handle it. Right? And, some athletes handle moods where you don't, they play their cards close to their chest, so you, you can't get that out. I mean, I learned that through teaching a lot too because you could have a fantastic student and all of a sudden they'd go off the rails and you'd find out their parents had divorced, that no one had mm. told you a lot of stuff was held in. And that kid was riding that and then suddenly blew up in your session and it was like, wow, that's unusual. Um, Tom Telez, Carl Lewis's coach, his data, he used to go, he, he canned us all. He said, how many of you guys take videos? He said, I've got videos of every top athlete in the world, their start, their transition phase and all the sprint and the actions. And he said, and that, that is a means for reviewing your session. And, and I've sort of tried to do the same type of thing. I, I use one of the apps and because the, the data is is looking at a video and analysing in real motion. And so, and I actually find out how many things on, I, 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 I'll probably have 7,000 videos on my uh, app. That's why wow. I'm on this little phone here with, uh, with us, because I can't, can't get enough data. I had to delete the Facebook off the, the, bigger, the bigger iPad, and I've got two iPads just to get enough of my videos. Data. Yeah. Yeah. Data and pictures of my dog. That's all. <laughs> and and uh, but that's the data is the videos, and then yeah. after it, I analyse it, and then I send out voiceovers to every athlete that I coach, so that I give them a double learning. 